hey dolls welcome or welcome back to my channel um if it's your first time coming across a video of mine hi welcome my name is sipo sam from south africa um popularly known as ukusha and i welcome you to my channel if you like a very relatable authentic content this is the right place to be um i do vlogs sit downs here and there um beauty content though i haven't i noticed that i haven't dabbled much into beauty content but um that's what i'm hopeful to um bring more of this year and you guys if if you like those topics do be sure to stick around and support the channel um how you become part of the channel is by simply subscribing which costs absolutely nothing it takes a split second to subscribe i mean just like that you're part of the family i hope you stick around um and become part of the family to my returning subscribers my dolls or char thank you so much for stopping that by guys thank you for your continued support i appreciate the comments i appreciate the engagement i appreciate the shares guys i appreciate you taking the time out to watching the full video um it does a lot for the channel as and, and as you can see we are on a road to a thousand and i'm very excited about that and in the same breath as much as i'm on a road to um 1000 i won't qualify to get monetized because my watch time is not doing really great and i'd appreciate your support um, by watching the full video um, and if you don't watch the full video what ticks you off like what is that one thing that um, keeps you from watching the full video I would appreciate that feedback so that I'm able to you know improve on that um, I actually started I thought I was going to start this vlog um, last week but sana things just went left and I didn't continue with the vlog up until today and um yeah we're here guys i just think my body shut down <laughs> i think my body shut down from the sudden change um that went from you know sleeping in and all of that to like all of a sudden now waking up at around five four sometimes and having to go into office like i was so sick on friday i even had to like leave work early um so yeah but nonetheless we are here and i actually want to do um in this very same sitting we are done with the intro guys uh yeah i want to do a what's in my bag insert and i want to do it in this vlog because i don't want to do it in a separate in a separate video on its own because so i might as well do it as part of this vlog my lips are so dry um so I'm going to do it as part of the sitting. I hope you guys don't mind. I actually got this inspiration from Facebook. I was going through Facebook this morning and I saw um, this lady who posted pictures. She posted pictures of what's in her lady bag. So I was like, oh, actually, since I want to change bags and I'm trying I might as well do this. So here we are. I do wish that I had put on my mic because they turned the sound in my bag. It's a um so let's continue um first and foremost and very important is um my diaries and i'm currently reading this book oh. shit sorry book uh. are my diaries and Okay, dolls, we are back and order has been restored. I actually also went to go and went to go and fetch my my planner because I also have this in my bag. So up first, um, I have these three books which I carry everywhere with me. I probably should stop carrying this because it's very heavy, so it's making my bag heavy. Um, and I I don't update it up until later, but I do do the the plannings in the morning. So I don't know. I'll figure that out. But it, it really is heavy so um this is my daily planner um i got this from pna earlier in the year um it's a 12 month planner um my current read which is what happened to you i am loving this book um it's one of those books where you have to take breaks in between so 
yeah i started reading this book last year i put it away never opened it again and then this year i started reading it again and sham i've been doing better um in terms of following up with the book so i have this book and i also have my journaling diary um and which is also uh used up like the, i don't have any more writing space speaking of which guys um i actually shared this with like my a colleague of mine and i was like i have to like find a new diary because i noticed um as i was writing that i've run out of space so i guess and i guess what my colleague did this is a bit off from the the reason why i'm sitting here but nonetheless um she got me a diary guys how sweet is she um so she got me a diary and i love it so so much um it's beautiful it's beautiful and it also has the quotes here at the bottom which i like so much so i've got a new diary i'm very excited to start writing on this one it is quite different um compared to the one that i have been using because this is my third diary that is like in the same design that has these um binding session binding uh what is this this binding steel that allows you to like rip off paper you know but it's fine <sighs> i love it so much i love it so much thank you thank you so much to my colleague um yeah so that's that and then i have my earphones i cannot live for the life of me if i'm in office i have to have my earphones um these earphones are from skull the quality is amazing i think they were 900 or um between 900 and 800 i'm not too sure um the quality is amazing guys um i have that i have my small makeup bag which have like my makeup essentials um for the day um which is basically concealer mascara uh lash glue for my eyebrows um my favorite favorite um my favorite lipstick i hope you guys can see these things and my liners yeah so that's my um makeup bag and i need actually another makeup bag that's like this for my feminine maintenance stuff that are currently just sitting around in my bag for example that um you know and my lipstick stuff and all of that my lip glosses which should be in my now that i think about it it should be in my um makeup bag <clears throat> anyways then i also have feminine wipes very important um then i also have my lip glosses Let's actually put them in here i should be carrying one so that the other one is here in the in the apartment and then i also have a sanitizer i don't need to explain why i have that um also actually a tip um if you carry a sanitizer and wipes you could literally do what you need for the wipes um with your sanitizer that's for like if you want to clean like if you're using public um public toilets and you want to clean the seat you can simply like put your sanitizer on the toilet paper and you know you wipe the seat um and save a bit of space in your bag so yeah i have that and this was actually how much this was 10 rands at um i forgot the shop wow <laughs> that's useless but anyways then i have um my sunglasses and my working um uv blocking specs uh, i got these at take a lot actually i got these about two years back and i actually need a new pair i want to try out this um that spectacle shop that's been trending yeah i want to try it out um because these you know they are they've, they've rusted here so as a result they do um irritate me um over here i have to literally wear them like this and like everyone in the office will be asking me and then girl what's going on but yeah 
it reminds me I need to really like look for um new spectacles ASAP. So I have this and I also have my sun glosses. You know, I have that. I usually also carry my sunscreen, but it's not in my bag at the moment. Then I have my wallet, which is from Foshini. Uh, I, I usually have both chargers. This is for my earphones, and then my phone charger is in the kitchen. My access tag, um, tissues, uh, my city card, uh, my pins, and the other pin that I like, my pink pin. Um, a hairbrush, a hairbrush, and my locker key. Oh, and I also have um, my, this is a fragrance. Remember guys, the unboxing or, yeah, that unboxing I did with you guys um, when I went to that event last year. So I love this um, fragrance to just pop in my bag. It does not take up much space that's um the size of it from the side literally love this so much and i want to try out um the other the, the other scents um because i've been receiving compliments um about i've been receiving compliments whenever i wear this so yeah i definitely need to get myself onto the other fragrances that they have i'm so sorry guys i'm looking at myself in the the mirror like that small mirror and i keep on forgetting to actually look at the lenses i'm so sorry um so yeah i have this perfume you know when you want to freshen up during the day very important i also actually want to get myself an antiperspirant that i keep in my bag because if you do not know i am a sweating hand like my underarms sweat like no one's business um it's been better now because just a minute actually because i want to show you guys that the antiperspirant that i'm currently using that has been a game changer guys it's been a game changer because it literally does what it is it does um let me just go and feature it and then i'll come back and talk a bit more about it so here's the antiperspirant i was talking about okay guys this is called perspirix is the brand um i got it from clicks i think i shared it in one of my um in my grocery hauls uh a couple of months back and sana life saver this one um the only thing that i could you know say about this is, is that please start with the lower intensities because i straight straight from the bat i went with like the strong intensity which is a bit harsh for my underarms um i would get burns every now and then but i do not mind because those heal like within you know maybe two days but still i get the anti-sweating benefit of it for five days with this with the strong one um, i only put it <laughs> once and then for the next five six days i'm good literally i don't have to reapply any other antiperspirant any deodorant or whatnot i after the the five to, five to six days then again i put it on but again because i'm also working on um my my pigmentation in between i would also um apply maybe like on the third day because i also don't want to overwhelm my underarms with so many products so many harsh and strong products maybe after like three days i'd um wipe my underarms with uh what is this thing glycolic acid um because glycolic acid helps with um the the odor part of it even though like with this it also helps with the odor but you, you can't you can't have too much protection um so i i applied for that and for like the the pigmentation so yeah guys highly highly recommend if your hand that is struggling with sweating in your underarms like guys my underarms used to sweat like literally and especially like if i'm under pressure or one um and in this i'm in a stressful situation like really like it glances <laughs> amzi like like guys and now sana to like come to the end of the day and i haven't sweat 
like my older my, my underarms are fresh like that's something that's very really new for me so sana get yourself on to this and even though guys you only apply it sana my <sighs> my hands are ashy which actually then makes me notice that my hand lotion is not here because i usually also have that oh here it is my hand lotion i always have this in my bag as well let me not jump around me because i want to do this because my hands are ashy then i'll get back to what i'm currently using for my hands um so back to this i wanted to say even though you put this like once a week basically you can like wash your underarms as normal like literally like you can still wash your underarms as normal i even like maybe on the fourth day i even like use like my exfoliating gloves underneath my arms you know so it doesn't restrict you to not washing or for me it hasn't restricted me to not washing my underarms i still do so highly highly recommend again let me just show it to you guys so you can take a screenshot i do hope that this thing is um it is focusing if it's not then i will link it um this again i got it from clicks thank you so much to the lady actually that recommended this for me um a lady on tiktok sent me an inbox because i posted a picture about what i was currently using at the time for my underarms and the issue that i had with me having sweaty underarms and she recommended this i could never thank her enough for introducing me to you guys like really like dynamite coming small packages and then what i also have in my bag which is like second or third last thing is this hand cream i got this hand cream from um clicks as well a while back i'm not too sure how much it was and i love this so much because i also am a hand that has quite hard hands like my hands guys if you would put my hands at my partner's hands hand in hand you'd see that he's the one who is the female in the relationship and i even have these i don't know what you call these icons basically i have no idea it's probably a genetic thing or what but yeah it is what it is but i found this the heavy duty mellow and russell hand cream helped me a lot with um keeping my hands it's nice and soft and it doesn't leave like a sticky residue it leaves like a really nice and soft residue i'm sorry about that I know that can be irritating when i um brush against my mic and then painkillers very important for me because um i'm a person who has headaches often i mean especially when i'm around a space that has a lot of people like rest assured nine 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 out of ten times i'll have a headache um so i have to have a very strong um headache what pay a really strong painkiller for that so i find that i know that people say that it can pack all right but for me it works it's very effective um and we shall just pray to the lord that it does not have any you know negative effects in the long run um and yeah guys that is basically all that is in my bag i actually also want to change up my bag and um, carry another um brown one let me show you the bag that i'm referring to so i want to carry carry this bag for this week so i'll just transfer everything into this bag um and if you're probably wondering where i got my bag this is actually a tote bag i got from h and m i think it was 400 if i'm not mistaken again i did post this um here in my channel um i'll link the vlog that actually has details of this tote bag guys this bag is value for money i love it so much heavy duty so strong sana like h&m i got to h&m used to be very good with their tote bags i don't know what happened at some point that i also stopped buying from them but i think they've gotten back into their bag um with their tote bags love it so much that is it guys let me um continue cooking um and cleaning uh and I'll catch up with you guys later. Bye for now.